Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to make your image into an oil painting. So we've got this image on screen. You can use any image you like. It doesn't have to be flowers. It's just that because I'm a flower photographer, this is what I prefer to edit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the layer panel and we're going to make a duplicate layer. So we'll click on duplicate layer. Now, whether you're using a JPEG or a PSD, which is a Photoshop file, the principle is the same. It's just that when we're using a JPEG file, that will say background rather than layer. So what we're going to do, we're going to rename the layer so as we know which one we're working on. Oil paint, we'll call it oil paint and say, okay. The reason behind this um, in layers, and I'm not an expert on layers. Um, the first layer is your original that's been untouched. The oil paint one is the one we're going to do the editing on. That can always be sent to the bin if you don't like it, um, and you've still got the original image left. Hope that uh, hope that's clear. Okay. So the next thing we'll do is to go into filter down to stylize and into oil paint. Now immediately, these are my settings in the oil paint box. You do have a black box here, so if you zoom out, you will see your image coming up to somebody. So zoom in again, so that you can sort of zoom in a part of your image. Okay. Now, if you select preview, that will show what it was like before you applied the filter on your main screen. So click it again. OK. Now, these are the settings that I prefer. If I just explain to you a bit about what the, all these mean. Now, stylization will actually adjust the style of the strokes. So naught is quite daubed as they call this and smooth is 10. So if we move that slider to the left you probably can't see a massive change but on your own computer you probably would but it's getting back to something like the original image but I'm not very keen on that so I always leave that on 10. And by the way wait for your computer to catch up when you're doing this because if you've got a slower computer Mine's sort of quite an intermediate one, and it seems to process the the filters reasonably quick. Just wait for the computer to catch up before you start um, altering another slider. The cleanliness, that adjusts the length of the strokes. So the choppiest is at naught, and the smoothest, or the shortest. So you can see there, it's not a... Not a look that I particularly like, but I think it depends on what sort of image you're actually adjusting. Because they're flowers, I like a nice, soft, smooth. So I'm going to put that back up to 10. The scale adjusts the thickness of the paint. So it moves from a thin coat at zero, strong at 10. So let's just move it about. Yeah, you can see the, the strokes getting quite strong. And as I say, it depends on what image you're editing. And you might prefer this on a flower image. But personally, if you go right up to the top end, see it's taken the computer a little bit of time to process. But it's not a look I like on this particular image. So I'm going to put it all the way back. Bristle detail. Bristle detail. That again is sort of how soft the bristles are. I prefer again a soft, soft bristle. But no, I I prefer the soft look. So I'm going to put that all the way back. The lighting, I don't tend to mess around with this. I either switch it on or switch it off. If you switch it off. 
I think it provides a slightly smoother image when it's off. But sometimes there's not a great deal of difference. The lighting, now if you look at the angle, you can adjust the angle, which I don't tend to do. You can either put a number in or you can adjust it by this little, what I call a clock face. So the angle adjusts the angle of the light, but not the brush strokes. It doesn't affect the brush strokes. Um, it's probably important if you're putting this oil painting into another scene. But again, it's something that I don't tend to mess around with. The shine adjusts the brightness of the light and the amount the light is bouncing off the paint surface. So, as I say, I can either switch that on or switch it off. Um, and in some cases, it's quite a marked difference. In others, there's not much of a difference. So we press OK to that one. And I like to zoom in and see what a difference. Yes, that's that's nice. Also, you can use the oil, this oil paint as many times as you like. So if you go in again, and being as I've got it um, zoomed in quite a lot, I can see the difference. So go to filter again. Um, stylize oil paint and yes yeah, so I quite uh, quite like that so you could turn the lighting off that's a nice smooth yeah I quite like that actually so I'm going to say okay to that but as I say you can do as many it as many times as you like and you can alter all those sliders um, but I I quite like that it's not too over the top. The thing is with these filters, if you're not careful, you can actually overdo the process. Um, but as I say, when you're using these filters, just give your computer time to process because it's not always, uh, some computers aren't, aren't fast enough to keep up with them. Okay, so if you want to, if you come down to here, and switch your oil paint off, you can see what the original image was because you've still got your layer there untouched. And this is why layers are good um, because it's a non-destructive way of editing. So if you turn it back on, you can also send it to the bin, which you don't really want to do, but if you click and drag, you can take it down to the bin. Okay, but we'll leave it as it is. So I think what we'll do is now we'll save the image as a PSD file or a, or a JPEG, but keep it at the original size. And if I look at the size of this, um, that's my original size. OK, so I'm going to save this at the largest size. So I'll say save as. And I'll save it to the desktop. Right. and save it already exists so I'm going to replace it okay and you just say okay to that so the next thing we're going to do is I think we'll put a a stroke around it so I'll show you how to do that So what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to flatten it. But you've already saved your PSD or your JPEG as your, as your main file. So we'll go to layer, flatten the image, and there you go, it's flattened. What we need to do now is we need to unlock that background because and that turns to another layer which enables us to go into some of these um, sections here and you're going to click stroke and I've already got it set on three pixels the color is white you can choose whatever color you like we'll we'll go for white because that's a nice neutral color I've left the location of the inside and I don't Will we touch any of that? So we'll say OK. And there you are. You've got a nice white stroke around your image, which I think holds it all in when you've got uh, 
a black background. Now the next thing we need to do is to save it for social media, the web. So we'll go up to image again, image size. And usually what I do is I, I use 1024 pixels on the longest side. So where it's highlighted there, just type one, two, four, and it will automatically alter the height or the width, depending on which way, whether it's landscape or portrait. So we'll say OK to that. And also what it's done is it's altered that from 49 megabytes down to 2 megabytes, which is a lot easier for sharing. I'll leave the resolution at 300. And that's obviously for printing purposes. So there you go. So it hasn't altered the image in any way. What we're going to do now is to save it. And I need to do save as. We're going to save it as a JPEG. And because I've already been saving JPEGs on this particular image, let's do it a slightly different way. So We'll call this oil paint oh, Stramaria. Oh, yes, I've spelt it right. Oh, so much trouble spelling that one. And we're going to put it in the desktop. And we say save. Quality maximum. Large file. Don't alter any of this. Just accept the uh, default and say OK. And there you have it. I hope that's been helpful and you've enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, if you want to subscribe, that would be, uh, be great. And select the notification. A little bell and that will let you know when the latest video comes in in the meantime thanks very much for watching and i'll see you on the next one